The whole school was gathered under a brilliant June sky. All around you, people are celebrating their graduation. The classmates pour out of their seats and cheering mom. We did it! Hell yeah, up top! But you can't bring yourself to join in the revelry. Sage, where are you going? I can't believe this year is already over. I would have never thought I'd make it through without my boyfriend. Oh, Dakota. I wish you didn't have to miss it. Zzz, zzz. I say on your phone buzzes with a notification. You check your screen to find an email from Dakota, but that's impossible, right? Fingers hover over the video attachment, but you hesitate as a lump forms in your throat. I don't know if I can do this. Memories from the past year come flooding back. The first kiss, first day, first day of school. I thought this year was going to be a total grind. But it's turned out to be the best year of my life. Because of you. I've already got everything I could have possibly wished for. Here's to another year of our parents and teachers having no idea what we're up to. Memories from back when you were just the new girl and Dakota was the charming stranger. You take a shaky breath and hit play. With every heartbeat. Chapter 1 The New Kid Nine months earlier. It's the first day of your senior year of high school. You look down at your outfit you carefully picked out this morning. New school, new you. Yeah. It's actually well done. Congrats. Choose this look. I'm totally gonna kill it today. I mean, look at me. You're still giving yourself a mental pep talk when Amy, your friend and neighbor, calls out to you. Sage, wait up! She looks you up and down, taking in your new outfit. Damn, you look amazing. Dressing up for anyone in particular? Mm, I literally only know one person at the school. Who would I dress up for? Please, if you haven't been stalking everyone's face space profiles all summer... Are you ready for your first day? Honestly, it's kind of weird. I mean, most seniors don't have to start all over at a new school. Still, I'm ready to get this over with. Ugh, I couldn't agree more. College can't get here soon enough. You laugh as the two of you enter the school together. We lucked out getting Mr. Cormac for homeroom. He basically treats it like a study hall, so... You're only half paying attention as you look around, taking in your new surroundings. Across the hall, you spot a student smiling for a video camera. Charming student. I'm guessing this is our Dakota. One. Two, if he had better hair. Three. Eh, why not? Welcome back, Willow Creek High. I know everyone had a crazy summer since I finally decided to hop on social media. And all I have to say is that here's to another year of our parents and teachers having no idea what we're up to. Sage, are you even listening to me? Hmm? Hey, you walked into our shot. The girl holding the camera frantically waves at you to move out of the way. Oh, sorry. You jump back out of the camera frame. I was looking... I wasn't looking where I was going. The charming boy runs his fingers through his hair as he breaks out into a grin. Distracted, were you? Maybe. Ah, it's okay, Heather. I think our new friend here is perfect for our intro segment anyway. If you say so. Sage, we really should be going. We don't want to be late. Oh, hey, Heather. I didn't see you there. You look back and forth between Heather and Amy, taking in the way they both seem to flush under each other's gaze. Interesting. Amy hasn't mentioned a Heather before. 
uh, before you can act on this new information, the guy steps forward and holds his hand out, flashing a brilliant smile. Dakota Winchester, at your service. Oh, you must be new. Ah, oh, look, Pixelberry's using Winchester now. I am, actually. Uh, how did you know? I know everyone at the school. And trust me, I would have remembered seeing you before. I'm Sage Woods. Ah, Sage. It fits you. And can I just say, Sage, you look stunning today. Totally camera ready, right, Heather? Heather pokes her hat out from behind the camera again to look you up and down. She looks better than you. Dakota clutches his heart. Oh, you wound me! He whispers to you. She's not wrong, though. Thanks. Dakota motions for Heather to keep rolling before turning back to you. So when uh, did you move here, Sage? Yeah, how are you liking Willow Creek High so far? You look warily at the camera, Dakota takes a step closer, whispering, lowering his voice to a whisper. Just pretend the camera isn't here. We're just two people having a gabble ca casual conversation. Uh, okay, well, I moved here at the beginning of summer, so I've been in Boston for a couple months. And I've only been at the school for about 15 seconds. It's not, uh, uh, so far it's pretty typical. Uh, just like every other high school I've been to. Uh, sounds like you've, uh, been to a lot of them. He shrugged nonchalantly, committedly. Okay, serious question. Do you think you have what it takes to be a panther? Like the animal, or...? Not exactly, but now I'm legit curious about your answer to that question. On the camera, Amy points to a big panther mascot painted on a giant poster. Oh, well, if you're asking if I've got school spirit, the answer is... Uh, not even a little bit. Like I said, I've been here 15 seconds. Ask me again in a couple months. I've never had a guest schedule their own follow-up interview before. Well, I guess I'm just full of surprises. Here, Dakota share a long look, his eyes twinkling mischievously. Okay, now I'm sure everyone's dying to know your answer to this next question. Are you single? I... Brrr. You brrr. are cut off as the first bell rings. Ah, saved by the bell! I'd better let you go before Amy has an aneurysm. See you later, Sage. Something about the look in his eye makes you think it's not just a turn of phrase, it's a promise. You slip into your desk in homeroom just as the late bell rings. See Amy right on time. We had to sprint the last 50 feet! Before you can respond, the teacher approaches you. You must be the new senior, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? You stand and turn to find 30 pairs of eyes staring at you. 30. Just 30. Hi, I'm Sage, and I'm the new kid, obviously. And uh, it's nice to meet you. You're met with silence, so the other students go back to whatever they're doing before Amy shoots you a sympathetic look as you slip back into your seat. You try to study your class schedule as Mr. Cormor McCormick calls attendance for the rest of the class, but your mind keeps wandering back to Dakota. I wonder if he's in any of my classes. As if on cue, you glance up and find Dakota's bright smile beaming at you through the classroom TV. Good morning, Willow Creek High. That's right, the powers that be are letting me and Jaden make the morning announcements for another year. It's honored to serve. Isn't it, Jaybird? Uh, what are we serving? Oh, scintillating school announcements and piping hot puff pieces. Starting with an exclusive interview with Willow Creek's newest student, Sage Woods. Your jaw drops as your face fills the screen. Oh my god. You can feel the other kids in your class looking at you curiously, you not Jamie. I can't believe you put me on the morning announcements. That's Dakota and Winchester for you. Oh, what does that mean? Do you think he likes me? Who knows, but it's the first day of school. They were probably short on stuff to air during announcements. Oh. Wow, thanks, Amy. Okay, I know that face. It's the Dakota Winchester is so swoony and dreamy look. It's a very common expression around here. Are you saying I don't have a shot with him? I'm saying you don't want to get shot with him. Or you don't want a shot with him. Dakota's a great guy. He's friendly. He's funny. He's super popular. But he also comes with uh, about eight HBO seasons worth of drama. Trust me. You're better off focusing on college. Again, thank you, Amy. But you know how much I love Game of Thrones, right? Even after the finale? 
The two of you turn your attention back to the front of the room where Amy's advice plays through your mind as the morning announcements continue. And don't forget to stop by the student club fair all this week. A few hours later, it's finally time for lunch, and your stomach rumbles loudly as you meet Amy at her locker. Hungry? Starving. I had to introduce myself in every single one of my classes this morning. Turns out being constantly embarrassed burns a lot of energy. A lesson I've learned every day since elementary school. You ready to go? Amy starts to lead you towards the parking lot. I thought the cafeteria was back that way. You're a senior. You can eat off campus. Must be nice. I know just the place. When I was a senior in school, we weren't allowed to eat off campus. Yeah, it was fun. You follow Amy down the street to an old-fashioned diner. It's small, but it looks like the entire senior class is packed into it. It's like a mosh pit in here. Go order. I'll try and find us a table. Get me the number two combo with extra cheese and a large coffee. Coffee in high school. I am impressed with you. Shall we go on a date? As she disappears into the sea of students, you find the end of the winding line. You strain on your tiptoes to see the menu, but the bottom of it is still cut off by the people in front of you. Ugh, can't see the combos. You try jumping up and down for a better view, but to no avail. Ah, uh, need a boost? Dakota, running near as much as starting to feel like fate. That's a beautiful sentiment, but if that's how uh, fate works, then I'm in trouble. I bumped into Wesley Lewis, like, eight times today. You, you feel me, Beatrice? Dakota turns his attention to the waitress behind the register. You're gonna get me in trouble if you sweet-talk me into another free milkshake, Dakota. I already reached my quota for the week. Oh, yeah, I would never. I just wanted to make sure you took care of my friend here. Sage, this is Beatrice. She makes the best milkshakes on the eastern seaboard. What can I get for you, hun? You scan the menu quickly. Uh, the number two with extra cheese, a large coffee, and double, wait, double double burger, garden salad. One of those famous milkshakes. I'll go with the double double burger. I'm coming right up. Is that all? What do you mean? I ordered a triple double, and Jaden already finished his five by five. The hell is a five by five? Five burger patties with five slices of cheese? Where does he put it all? Yay, when you're that young, you do. Uh, science is still searching for an answer. In the meantime, it's incredible to watch. You look over at the packed diner. Oh, crap. I think I lost Amy. She was supposed to find a table for us. I doubt she was able to in this crowd. Come sit with us. I'm here with some of the crew from the AV Club to celebrate our first show. We've got two seats open on our table, if you want. Uh, sit with your group? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Well, I consider myself to be more of a lunch saver, but you're welcome. Now to find Amy. I got this. Go to cups his hands around his mouth and shouts, Amy Quarterbooth stat! Uh, give a girl a little warning next time. Ah, sorry. Oh, yeah, you really look in. Did it work at least? And Dakota stands on a ship toe surveying the crowd. Ah, there. She looks like I uh, told her to eat a spork. Like she's moving in the right direction. Come on. He grabs your hand and leads you through the crowd. At the corner booth, Dakota slides into a seat, and you and Amy follow suit. Ah, uh, Sage, this is Jaden. He's the uh, best lineman slash co-anchor at Willow Creek. Jaden, meet Sage. So, Jaden, hey there. Uh, you probably already know Amy. Totally. I mean, a little. Yeah, I know you. You keep the teacher so busy they forget to call and the rest of us is awesome. Happy to be of service. So, uh, Sage, what did you think of our first show? Honestly, it, uh... It was interesting. It, I've never been seen morning announcements done quite like that before. Oh, you hear that, Jaden? Sage thinks we're one of a kind. I don't know if I'd go that far. Oh, well, how did you and Amy meet? We're neighbors, actually. Amy took me under a wing over the summer. What can I say? I needed someone to help me study for the SATs. So the uh, truth's finally coming out. And here, I thought I was uh, obvious from the very first practice test. Two of you share a grin as the waitress approaches with the food. 
Here we are on number two, a large coffee, a double-double burger, and one Dakota Special. The Dakota Special, that one word to describe it. It's a lot of ice cream. What is that? Oh, <laughs> soft serve ice cream with chocolate sauce sprinkles over a bit of extra salty french fries. Gross, actually kind of sounds okay. Watch an amusement as Dakota picks up a fry and uses it to scoop up a dollop of ice cream before taking a bite. I can't decide if that's crazy or a genius. Ah, uh, yes, the trademark of the Dakota Special. How do you get a dish named after you, anyway? Ah, simple, really. Just order something a hundred times a day in a row, and they'll eventually put you on the menu. You pull out your phone to check your messages as Dakota launches into the tail from Mom. Your shift starts at 3.30 p.m. sharp, don't forget. Oh, hey, does anyone know how long it takes to get to Edgebrook Hospital from here? Why, are you sick? Jaden, you can't just ask people if they're sick. Why? It's okay, my mom's a pediatric surgeon there. I'm just doing some volunteer work after school. Your mom was able to get you into the volunteer program? That'll look great on your college applications. Some people just do things out of the niceness of their hearts. I don't understand why everything has to come with a string attached, but okay. The city bus stop is just a couple blocks from school. It's about a 45 minute ride. Or I could give you a ride instead. I'm heading there after school to visit a friend. It'll uh, take up half the time. Mm, I don't want to impose. We just met. You really don't have to do me any favors. Ah, no problem. Or, no trouble, promise. Well, thanks then. Yeah, meet you in the parking lot after school. You know, some of the tables are starting to empty as Jaden checks his phone. I better go. Steve's throwing a party after the game on Friday. We gotta figure out how to get a keg. Nice to meet you, Sage. I uh, better go too. I have a, to gas up my car before the end of lunch. I'll go with you, Heather. You will? Uh, totally. I, I need to see my guidance counselor about uh, switching to a tougher English class. Psst, it's 2020. It's okay. You smile to yourself the way Amy flushes as she follows Heather out of the booth. Hmm. Okay, I definitely have to remember to tease her about that later. You wave goodbye to the others after they leave. Dakota turns to you with a grin. Ah, then there were two. Uh, should I be worried about this countdown? Good opens his mouth to answer, just as the waitress comes by with a bill. You reach for your wallet. I got this. Call it the uh, new student special. Uh, okay, but only if I pay next time. His eyes light up at the offer. Oh, deal. After the bill is paid, you follow Dakota out of the diner. So, how's your first day so far? Honestly, it's been... Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, you're adorable. You cut, you're cut off as a small puppy runs up to you, his leash flapping in the wind. What the... Hey, little guy. Dakota manages to snag the leash before the puppy takes off again. Where did he come from? There's a dog park around the corner. He must have pulled a great escape. Dakota picks up the puppy and holds him face to face. I bet your owner is worried about you, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'll make sure you get back safe and sound. Ah, uh, what do you say, Sage? You up for a little detour? We've still got some time before the end of lunch. And I'd love the company if you're not dying to get back to the campus right away. And then glance over at what you think is a path to the school, wishing you'd been paying closer attention to the walkover. As you consider your options, the puppy leaps forward to lick your face affectionately. <laughs> oh, that's just not fair. All is fair in love and puppies. I can't possibly resist that face. Let's go. Which face? <laughs> Ah, uh, what he said. Dakota puts the puppy down, holding tightly to the leash, then offers you his other hand. His grin is wide, with just a hint of cheekiness. <sighs> Why not? You take Dakota's hand in his fingers, curl around yours. Lead the way. You're on the corner to find... Welcome to Willow Creek Dog Park. Ow, ow. Do you see your owner, little fella? Reach down to scratch behind his ears, and he nozzles into your hand in response. <laughs> and he likes you. The feeling is very mutual. The two of you follow the dog's lead around the park, keeping an eye out for anyone who might be looking for him. Now, tell me everything about yourself. 
Mm, define everything. Well, you know, your hopes, your dreams, your greatest fears, foods that make you puke everything. Um, are you always like this? Irresistibly charming? Incredibly nosy. I was gonna say a little hyper, but okay. Hmm, I'm gonna have to say yes on both counts. But if it'll make you feel better, I'll go first. My name's Dakota Winchester, no middle name because my mom doesn't believe in them, and my hopes are almost limitless. But if I uh, had to whittle them down to one great hope of my life, I hope to do something extraordinary. Like what? I haven't figured that out yet. But when I do, it's going to be mind-meltingly, world-charming, changingly incredible. Now you, what's your uh, great hope of your life? I hope... To be a success. What kind of success? Are you talking fame, fortune, fortitude? All the above. Ah, renaissance woman. I just want to live a good life. Be happy, healthy, do what I love. I guess that kind of... Uh, it's kind of ordinary definition of success, huh? <laughs> Sounds pretty extraordinary to me. You meet his eye, sharing a smile. Now tell me, what scares you more than anything? I thought you were answering these first. True! Okay. He runs his hand through his hair as he thinks, the puppy nuzzling against Dakota's leg. Ow! Okay, little guy, uh, what scares me the most is never doing anything extraordinary, or worse, never doing anything worthwhile at all. Oh. Wow. Excuse me. Now, what were you expecting? We can't all be afraid of spiders, you know? I know, it's just... How do you do that? Open yourself up to an almost stranger so easily, I mean. He shrugs. I find you very easy to talk to. You shake your head and wonder. Uh, kind of honesty is... I've been told the honesty. Like, you can't be bluntly honest or it'll cost you, and it's true. It has. But... I'm gonna go with brave. It's brave to be completely honest and open. That's how I look at it. Life is too short and scary not to be brave. Funny, life feels very, very long to me. A comfortable silence falls over the two of you. You lift your face to the warm sun as the birds tweet around you. It's almost a picture-perfect moment until... Teddy! There you are! Oh, I'm so sorry. That dog is lightning fast sometimes. Thank you for finding him for me. Trust me, it was our pleasure. Teddy was a perfect gentleman. <laughs> Give Teddy a few more head scratches before handing him back to his owner. Bye, Teddy. Be good. He lets out one last yip as they leave. You turn back to Dakota to find him already staring at you. Um, one. <laughs> Nothing. We were interrupted before I could ask my next question. Go ahead. Okay, what do you want to do with your life? My mom wants me to go to a good college, medical school, optional, so I guess that's my main focus for now. No, 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 do you give me your guidance, counselor, speech? Tell me what you actually want to do. If the world was your oyster, money, qualifications, and parental expectations were no object, you, Sage Woods, would be... I... Honestly, have no idea. Everyone expects me to have an answer, but I don't. Not yet. Oh, honey. I'm as old as I am, and I still don't have an answer. That is life's great perplexing question. A slow smile spreads across his face. Honestly, that's the best answer you could give. Why say something if you don't actually believe it? It's brave to say I don't know. What about you? What's your actual plan? Not the big picture, the extraordinary, uh, the nitty gritty details. I want to leave you in suspense. No fair! Oh, well, life usually isn't, shall we? You laugh as the two of you head back to school. Close, but not touching. <clears throat> I know his answer. So, you and Amy seem pretty close. Yeah, she's been a good friend. She's made moving here a lot easier. It's strange to see her so chummy with someone else. She's always been kind of a loner. I guess she and I have that in common. Yeah, I'm sensing that you're a hard person to get to know. Me, the girl who spent all lunch talking to someone she just met? Oh, I meant emotionally. Getting information out of you is kind of like pulling teeth. 
You shrug a little stung by the assessment. I just started a new school for my senior year. I already have one friend, and I don't really see the point in trying to make more when we're all moving on to college next year anyway. Oof. That makes sense. But why make a bond when it's just going to be broken? Something his tone makes you pause. He looks con contemplative, as if he's lost to memory. But the moment passes as it quickly came. He grins at you. Anyway, I didn't mean it uh, as a dig. I like that you're a mystery. Mm, I'm not trying to be mysterious. Promise. Mm, spoken like a true enigma. The second bell rings. And I'm late again. And uh, who have you got next? Mm, Dr. Souza? AP Lint? I go to grin sheepishly. Uh, if he busts you for being tardy, just tell him you're helping Beatrice clear tables. He's got a soft spot for her. Uh, thanks. Anytime. I'll meet you in the parking lot after school. You hurry down the hall, looking over your shoulder, just in time to see Dakota looking back at you. He grins and waves before turning away. At the end of the school day, you follow the bustle of loud, chattering students outside. Well, I guess that wasn't so bad. Now I just have to get through my first shift at volunteering at the hospital. Scan the parking lot until you spot Dakota leaning against a car is back to you. You head over to him. As you draw near, you realize he's on the phone. Seriously, Dad, you don't have to be so dramatic. You freeze awkwardly trapped with an earshot of his whispered conversation. That was ages ago. You don't need to... You said you trust me, or was that a lie, too? I can't talk about this right now. I'm at school. You know no one at school knows about me. Fine. Whatever. I'll see you tonight. He hangs up, running a hand through his hair as he turns around and sees you. Sage! Busted. Hmm. Huh. Why can't Pixelberry just release books like this? I guarantee you more people would actually read their book or their app, let alone spend actual money on it. I guess that's the reason why it's behind a VIP wall. So far, intrigued. So far, interested. Without further ado, again, I know his answer. But I'm going to leave you in vagueness and an enigma myself and not answer it. Until later. Thank you all for watching. Um, so, yeah, I did the VIP thing. I have receipts. In case anyone goes... <laughs> Because the person who uh, hacks the app released the VIP version, just saying. So, you'll see a bunch of YouTubers starting to do the bullshit. Hey, psst, I have receipts. Just saying. Okay? Bye.